so let's just use a sweep. Sweep. All right. Let's do round tube. Let's do apply a long curve. Let's make it a lot less big. So these ones here. So the width of this thing will be driven by p scale attributes. So we have f at p scale equals uh, 0.1. You can see they're going to be smaller. So we can we can uh, give this an attribute along the length to sort of make these ones smaller. So let's first just assign an attribute here. Let's just, by the way, disable our chops for now because it's going to need to recook every time you uh, you do stuff. Um, f at p scale equals 0 0.2. So let's already make those a little bit smaller and just make our main branches one. Okay. And maybe we want on this side, maybe we want to say, okay, maybe 0 0.5. We want to type, uh, we want to do it with the curve u of our original curve. So I want to multiply something with it. So let's do actually transfer. Let's, uh, Let's first attribute rename. So we want to rename our curve view here, because of course, okay, look, we're we're, gonna, we're using curve view here on here as well. So we need to first rename it, curve view. We just call it uh, multi or something. This doesn't matter what it is. Let's transfer multi to our curves here, multi. So then we're going to have a uh, something that's big down here and smaller down there. And then we're going to say times at multi, right? So now, oh, we need to invert that. Times minus one. And no, not times minus one. Let's see what values come in there going to go from roughly zero to roughly one. Let's just fit it. All right, let's just say float multi mult equals at, uh, fit. Let's just say fit zero one, you know, uh, multi kind of fit it from, zero, from one to zero. So inverting it like that. And say times multi, right? Um, oh, times multi. All right, sweep. Uh, yeah, that seems to work. Maybe we want to have it a little bit bigger on top. And I'm thinking that the P scale on top is way too big. So it needs to be smaller. And just the overall thickness of this thing is just too big. So let's just do, uh, to she said, let's do uh, uh, yeah, something like this. All right, let's play. So that's looking pretty cool. I'm thinking that this roll out of this, these things should be faster than the main one because now they're it's just super, Super slow. So I'm gonna just change these keyframes around a little bit. I'm gonna write it out again as an alembic. I'm not gonna even gonna look what it looks like. YOLO, YOLO the alembic. Let's just see what it looks. Oh yeah, it's better. So I'm gonna say. that maybe I want my jiggle to have a lot less stiffness. It's going to be more jiggly and a lot less damping, maybe. Mm. Mm. I mean, just keep 
just art direct this any way you want. Um, I mean, I spent some time, of course, on my original thing, like trying to make it look look more natural. But I'll leave that up to you on your own example to, uh, yeah, to try to make it your own like best version. So let's go to UV and attributes. Let's compute UVs. So UV quick shade to see if it worked. And voila, we have a plant gemacht. I'm not German, by the way, but just find it in a hilarious language. Uh, right. So yeah, now let's move on. Let's start adding the leaves to the uh, to the side branches.